do you feel like you, like, I felt like in your drawings on your website you had more imagery, mm -hmm. I guess, and then with the paintings it was like a, more f like a field, or like, about the object itself, mm -hmm. more. I mean, not not that they're both one is the other. Right. But. I feel like um. That a lot. Yeah, I tend to draw things, and not paint things, and I think that's just because painting paint is so much more of a material, whereas yeah. whereas drawing is only a mark. If that makes sense, mm -hmm. is only line or values, so it just, I've also just been drawing for a whole lot longer than I've, than I've been painting, so maybe I mean, I have more habits when it comes to drawing than I do painting, and maybe that comes through in imagery, I don't know. <laughs> when did you um, first start painting? Well, when I got to Papa, I went to Papa expecting to do lithography, because that's what I did all through <gasps> Undergrad? Undergrad, yeah. Um, and then I got there, and they wanted me to take a class. And then they wanted to take a class. I like showed up with my portfolio and talked to Tony Rosati or whatever. Mm -hmm. And he was like, yeah, this is all great, but you got to take a class. And I was like, yeah, but you guys let me into the school because everything I showed you was with the graphs. Yeah. I don't want to take a class. <laughs> so then after not coming to a conclusion there, I decided I was going to try to paint. Huh. Well, are you glad about that? Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah. My drawings were way more anal retentive, and the symbolism in my drawings was so much more heavy handed just because they were images. Mm -hmm. So they were way, they were too direct. I would draw the pictures five or six times before I drew the final one, mm. which is too. Yeah, you, it doesn't feel, there's not as much of that, like, gut feeling, I guess. Yeah. Or, like, movement. Yeah. This is, like, all about, like, putting paint down and, like, mark making and, like, I mean, not all. I'm, do you feel like you plan it out at all? Like, do you, like, kind of map it, or do you feel like... It changes from one to one. Mm -hmm. This one, I, like, ha I... Not sleeping one night. Mm -hmm. It was this sort of arrangement was just there, so I came in and made it, and then it uh, sort of spawned after I had made the basic composition. It just began to spawn thoughts and narrative, so mm -hmm. it went from there. But then some of them, the final product will come because I painted over something old or just reworked something so many times and it just sort of ends where it does. Yeah. And I'm not, I don't really feel like I favor either way of working. Mm -hmm. It just uh, happens that way. This one, did this one start out on the front, or is that the front, or? Yeah, it started off on the front. The front. The painting <laughs> was terrible. <laughs> so I flipped it over and started painting on the back. Uh, that painting was terrible. <laughs> and then I pulled it out again after a few months and covered it in white and started painting again. <laughs> yeah, I like the white and the black fields. It's so much better in person, obviously, because there's so much more to it. 